Guys, you know, I want to talk to you about something today that um, I've kind of shied away from it because it's a touchy subject and it's so controversial. And um, I mean, I'm reluctant, but, but the thing is, I've been getting more emails lately from people that really want my opinion on it. And um, I, I, I hope that nobody kind of like, like gets kind of comes down on me because they're one side or the other. And I'm talking about the Mitlighter gardening method. And um, the reason why I've kind of shied away from it because I've watched all the arguments and stuff online, the banter back and forth, and it's just, it, it's almost like they get kind of really aggressive about it. And um, it's just, it's not profitable to, to get into that kind of stuff like that. But I want to, I want to address it to all the people that have asked me so that I'm not... I'm not having to respond individually to each one of them. My thought is, is that the purpose of my channel is that I'm trying to inspire people to get out there and be independent and to grow and start having their own gardens and to be completely independent from the commercial growers and the, and the grocery stores and stuff like that. Now I know it's almost impossible to be completely independent, but um, the, the thing about the, the Mitlighter method, in my opinion, is that if, if you're going to if you're going to start growing and, and, and you want to be successful, like one guy I went out there and I looked at his channel and he's got some pretty impressive results with, with his methods. And his plants look great. And if, I, I also saw some people that say, uh, you know, I'm just starting to grow this year. I wonder if I should try that. I think I might try that. You know, to me, that's great. That's wonderful. Because isn't that what we're trying to do? Um, it, on the other side of the of the spectrum, we have people that say, "Well, it's commercial fertilizer. It's, it's just dumping stuff on the pl on the plants and to make them grow." Okay, now here's one thing that I that I that I do promote on my channel is to be independent from commercial farmers. And I'm not saying that that they're evil because they're they're filling a void because people aren't growing at home. There are millions and millions of people in this country that don't even want, they don't want to, they don't want to look at a plant. They just want to go to the grocery store, they want to get their food. And so they're filling a void. There's a necessity there. The problem I have is that they're just dumping NPK fertilizer commercially all over. They're just covering their, 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 their soil and then they're tilling it in. And, and um, to me, that's not, that's not productive because it, in, in, in my opinion, it's just destroying the soil. It's just scraping the topsoil and, 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 and whatnot. So I think um, if somebody is trying to get inspired to, to grow and they can, they, can, they can do it and they can get more profitable results, then I'm all for it. Now, like I say, on the other side of the, of, of the spectrum, we got these people that are saying, well, I don't do it because it's all commercial fertilizer. You got you to always buy their stuff and it's a commercial gimmick and whatnot. Well, no, I mean, you, I mean I, here's the thing. It, the one argument seems to be, well, I want to be independent, so I'm, I, I need to be completely independent from, from that. Well, okay, my thought is, is if the Mitlighter method will inspire people to start growing and to start gardening, getting out there in the, in the fresh air and, and, you know, just to be more independent, I'm all for it. And they're not going to be, it's not going to create a dependency on the Mitlighter, that mix that you buy. Because here's the thing, you can buy a, a year or two's worth and, and, and store it. And after that, to, let's say that something happens to the economy or, or the whole country just tanks and you can't even go to the grocery store and buy food. And you can't buy any more of that mint lighter mix, that starter mix or whatever, it's called the magic stuff or whatever. I think after a few years of growing even with that fertilizer, you're going to have a great understanding of how to grow. You're going to understand disease, you're going to understand you know pests and things like that so if you were to somehow be completely severed with your ability to buy that I think you're gonna be smart enough to say okay well I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to start composting I'm gonna have a compost pile I'll start using compost on my plants you've got 90 percent of the game won just by the fact that you're learning how to grow you're learning what kind of plants do well in your area. You're, you're just, you know what I'm saying. So I, I don't, I think as gardeners, we shouldn't be bantering, arguing back and forth. What we should be doing as gardeners saying, how are we going to get people outside gardening? Now, the thing is, is that 
how it differs, in my opinion, the Mitleider method, how it differs from commercial farming is that there are 13 or 16, I can't remember how many nutrients in that mix. Commercial farmers are just NPK, they're just dumping it on there and saying there are three things that those plants need and that the, you go to the grocery store and buy that stuff, it's just, it has no nutritional value in my opinion or very little. At least, I mean, the mint lighter argument is, is that the plants only need those 16 nutrients uh, and, and that's what they absorb and that's all they need and so you got the other side of the spectrum that says no we got 90 some nutrients in the soil and and they need that and it's more nutrient dense and it's better for you well okay I'm not a chemist I don't know I mean I, I don't know if it is now I I've amended my soil because I live where there's a lot of um, uh, decomposed granite stuff and I've amended a lot of my soil and made it healthy with rock dust minerals now I don't dump tons like a lot of people I've seen I don't dump a lot in there but I do have a lot of raised beds and stuff too that I put it in and so it works. So my whole thought on this and my, my assessment of it all is that get out there and garden. 13 minerals or 16 minerals is a heck of a lot better than three. Okay, and if it works for you and it's going to inspire other people, people are going to look at that and they're going to go, oh man, I want a garden like that. I want that, man. I'm like, go for it. Go for it. That's, that's completely awesome. Now, me personally, people ask me, me personally. I don't use it because I've been gardening the way that I've been gardening for decades and it seems to work for me. Um, but I'm not opposed to it and if somebody were to give me some of that mix and say, there, use this on your plants, oh, man, I, I certainly would. I mean, I, I would use it to, see how it to see how it did. Now, I'm not saying that it's, it's a miracle. I'm not saying that it's going gonna, it's gonna to work everywhere for everyone. But uh, my thought is, is, is we shouldn't be arguing and complaining back and forth about all the stuff and uh, we need to band together as gardeners and 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 just um, try to figure out ways that we can help other people and so um, that's my thought on it. I know it probably doesn't solve the issue because I know a lot of people are going to say well you need to be anti or need to be pro. Well no I'm, <laughs> I'm pro gardening. I'm pro getting people out there in the garden, get them growing and uh, inspire them to be more independent and uh, just to be out there in the sun and just understand that, that it's so much better for you. It's good exercise and the plants you're going to produce are going to be a lot better than what you're going to buy in the grocery store. So I know that people have their opinions and they're welcome to them, but that's my thought. Um, it's, it, I mean, if you want to complain, and a lot of these people that are complaining about the mint lighter saying you have to have that mix are the same people that are going to the to the nursery and buying bags of fertilizer anyways and they say, well, it's organic, it's fertilizer, it's 999. Well, <laughs> you're still dependent. I mean, unless you're, like I have a compost pile. I don't buy uh, fertilizer. I do have some mix that I use in my indoor growing because I don't bring, try to bring my, try not to bring my compost in unless I've got it completely sterile. But um, I, I, use com I use complete compost. That's all I do is I compost and that's what I use. It works for me. And um, but a lot of these people that are complaining about the mid lighter are the ones that are still going out and buying. Uh, they're not completely dependent. They're buying some of the biggest arguments, you know, are independence. But they're going out and they're buying these big, huge bags of rock dust minerals, or they're building. And I'm not complaining about that either. I'm I'm just saying if you're going to complain about something, or or if it's going to your argument is going to be complete independence, then stop buying all this other stuff that you're throwing into your your garden too and digging it in because. You, I mean, there's there's a lot of hypocrisy I think going on there. So, um, it, it, it's in my opinion, I think that um, I think you can get very dogmatic and very zealous about your own opinion, and then just completely disregard everybody else's opinion. And if something works for someone, man, I'm all for it. So, I'm sorry that probably wasn't more helpful, but that's my thoughts on it. So, if more people that are going to email me and ask me that question, I'm just going to direct them to this video because. Um, that's, that's my thoughts on it, guys. So um, I hope that helps. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you all later.